Okay, so we're making this baked feta with tomato, olives, and garlic, and it's super delicious. Are you ready for this? Let's get to it. So the first thing you wanna do is preheat the oven to 400 degrees. So why do they call it preheating, right? Doesn't really seem to make sense. Pre means before, so it should be before it's hot, but yet you're warming up the oven. Well, here's the thing. Basically, you're preheating in the sense that you're preheating it to the temperature that you want it to cook at. So you want the oven to come up to temperature before you start. So you don't wanna add anything to the oven until it's at the temperature that's requested, which is 400 degrees for this one. So we're gonna add the diced tomatoes to our cast iron braiser. Now, if you don't have that, you can totally use a sheet pan for this recipe. So just add the can of diced tomatoes. So if you have leftover canned tomatoes, you can actually store them for using later. If you store them in the fridge, they'll last up to about seven days. If you can put them in the freezer though, and they'll last up to about like six months stored that way. The main thing is you wanna take them out of the can and transfer them to like either a zip top bag or some sort of airtight container. Don't store them actually in the can, in the fridge or in the freezer that way. So now we're just gonna make a little bit of room for the feta. So just kind of make a little well for each slab of feta in the diced tomatoes. They're just, you know, social distancing and shit. Now it's time to thank a farmer for all the produce, all the bad produce that we're about to drop in this dish because it's so veggie forward. I think you're really gonna love it. We have our cherry tomatoes, boom. We have some red onion, yes please, and garlic, you know, more garlic in case of vampires. Add in those chickpeas or garbanzo beans. Why do they have to have two names? You ain't Prince, right? Okay, so we're gonna add in those California green olives. And let's be honest, I mean, like what produce isn't California? We grow over a third of the veggies here and over two thirds of the fruits and nuts. So pretty much like everything is Californian, but yeah, add in those California green olives. And now we're gonna add in a few lemon slices. And really, honestly, this is just to make the dish look pretty, you know, like me. Key tip on storing lemons, how to store lemons. So they look great on a bowl on the counter, worst way to store them. Put them in the fridge. Stored in the fridge, citrus will last up to four times longer that way. So we have all of our produce in the brazier with the feta, or if you did it in a sheet pan, you wanna cover it up. So put the lid on the brazier or put some aluminum foil over the sheet pan. You wanna put it in the oven and we're gonna bake it for 20 minutes. After it's baked for 20 minutes, we're then gonna broil it on high for about seven minutes, keep an eye on it. We just want that feta to get browned and charred around the edges so it just really, like it's just melted and beautiful. Top it off with some chopped parsley and serve it up with either a crusty bread or some uh, flat bread, both great choices. This is a wonderful appetizer for brunch, snack, whatever you want. If you like this recipe, hey, give me a thumbs up. If there's something that you wanna see, drop a comment down below. And if you'd like to cook like I do, I release new recipes every single week, so please subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.